Hey, hello there Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly prediction. This general reading covers September 16th to the 22nd. Remember to take only what resonates with you. I can answer your more specific questions when you book a reading. Check out the description box below. Lots of information there. Thank you for all those wonderful feedback, comments, and validations. Keep them coming, you guys. You're keeping me inspired to keep these videos coming for you. Okay, Capricorn. I have blessed, shuffled, and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background of the question. The Four of Pentacles, Capricorn. Stability. The Four of Pentacles. This is holding on and being protective. You're being self-protective and protecting your boundaries. Being defensive and conserving. You, have, you may have a fixed attitude, and if you do, that would block new opportunities. You're trying to be saving and cautious. You're not chancing anything. You're protecting your money and your boundaries. And the advice is to go with the flow. Because your foundation is firm. All you have to do is just let loose a little. Don't hold on too tightly. You know, don't be stubborn. Be generous in your wealth and spirit. And that will cultivate your best talents. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. The moon, number 18 of the Rider Waite deck in the Major Arcana. The moon, number 18. This is intuition and imagination. Sometimes stands for deception. This is dreams and fears and sometimes anxieties and insecurities. This is, can be deception and hidden enemies, or even an indication of psychic talent. But these insecurities that you feel, it's because you're unable to see how your actions are affecting your future. You just have to endure these insecurities because you are on the correct path. So pay attention to dreams and hunches. You might feel moody because there'll be some emotional tests. You're to listen to your instincts and go with the flow. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Five of Pentacles, Capricorn. You're feeling like an outsider. The Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is struggling together with someone else. This is sharing hardships, sometimes unemployment, or an illness, or a financial loss. But you're feeling left out and having some doubts. It's okay to ask for help. These hardships will pass away. You're not alone. You're not an outsider. You're just crippled by circumstances right now, which are temporary. Could be ill health and complaining but you are re rebuilding your self-worth. Support is available. All you have to do is ask. Your fourth card, it's the future. It's the outcome. It's the results, the advice, and how to respond. The Page of Pentacles, Capricorn. Water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. The Page of Pentacles, I mean Cups. Sorry. This is a message about love. Could be an engagement or a wedding announcement, but it does carry an emotional risk. This is expressing emotion and finding out where you stand. And you feel things are going to work out all right. Sometimes this is a birth of a child. And again, psychic ability beginning to emerge. These are thoughts and dreams of love. It's successful wishing. 
These are new insights, a new emotional trigger. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. This is the underlying issue. It's what's unseen. The Four of Swords, Capricorn, needs some rest and recuperation and some healing time. The Four of Swords, maybe even some meditation. I need to meditate. You're going to be gathering up your strength and planning your next moves. You might want to keep some of those plans to yourself. But there is soon going to be a change for the better. It's a relaxation of anxiety. Maybe a vacation. You might need to seek an expert for advice. You'll be incubating some ideas. You're going to feel peace and respite. This is a needed relief from stress. Thank you so much, Capricorn. I love your comments. Please subscribe so you can find out how this channel evolves. I hope you have a wonderful adventure today. Remember, what goes around comes around, so keep it positive. Love and light.